The NEA Foundation got involved with uh, Project Deeds um, when um, they learned we were doing urban farming in New York City. And many folks, I mean most folks, thought that when I started Project Deeds I had lost my mind. Like, where are you going to farm in New York City? Where's their land, et cetera, et cetera. Anyway, but in 2009, uh, I launched the first site in a community called Brownsville in Brooklyn. Um, and began immediately working with the public high school that was in that community and a nonprofit organization that provides temporary shelter for homeless families. The way Project Eat supports youth in the community and in their education is multifold. Um, we provide classroom curriculum in schools that are considered, uh, the phrase is, under resourced schools. Uh, and in these schools, um, they are no longer providing uh, science labs. Uh, and so what we're able to do is to come in and provide a STEM-based agricultural curriculum um, that is hands-on learning. Uh, and what we've been able to do is have an impact in several ways. One, we're engaging students, which teachers will say would not engage in the class. Um, but they're engaging more in the class because it's experiential learning. That's one. And two, we're supporting uh, teachers in the classroom because teachers are now learning, relearning how to do experiential lab type work because they haven't done it in a while. So they're building their confidence and able to use the curriculum we've developed so that they are administering it in our classrooms and our instructors are able to, to support them from afar. The NEA Foundation support of Project Eats at the time that it supported us, so it was, it was four, about four years ago, four or more years ago, um, was really critical because at that point we had no funding for our educational program. Uh, and largely because whether it's a funder or a resident in the community where we farm, they're like, how are you going to farm in New York City? Even though we've got food growing out of the ground. Uh, and proving that it's possible to be done. People were still like, what, what, what? Are you going to bring this into schools? It was really, really difficult to get funding. So frankly, in terms of our educational programs, the NEA Foundation was critical because it gave us the first support that we had for our educational programs. And I'm happy to say that we're now in a position to build on that. <laughs>